should be should be there, right? Okay. So we should uh, the user menu is there. Uh, you can also uh, find it while Google. Right? For the Google, let me do it again. It's, it's important to find the value R. For example, I open this. So you open the Google DL Monty tutorials or whatever. You, you can easily find, find it. For example, this tutorial uh, along with the program. Uh, this is their official website. You can download it, and there are also uh, tutorials. This is how you download function, etc. Right. So please remember where you find it. Okay, uh, the tutorials, they just show the web page. Important thing is you download the files to your local directory. This is about 160 meg megabits. So you download it in your home uh, directory on Zbit. So you will have it in your local uh, local drive. Uh, there are nine tutorials. Uh, today I will do the first one. You see uh, what what we, uh, I did from you. So the tutorial, please go it uh, carefully. Uh, you can find uh, easily uh, get it from the website. Uh, DL Monty is a uh, is an open source code, so you can see all the uh, the source code. Then later you can modify the source code, it's give you the power. Nothing hiding. That's good thing. Another is uh, the menu. Uh, please keep that in mind. I just copy here so you know how the menu looks like. Also, a uh, very rough introduction about the uh, DL Monty. Um, once you install it, the program, you need the input, right? it, like a machine. Uh, they need the in input then to make products. You need the input. We have, we need the three input files. One called control, one called uh, config, one is field. This control is more or less like control panel. It gives the comments how this uh, this simulation goes. There is uh, parameters of the simulation run. Config your your simulation. You need the initial positions, right? And you have articles, you have uh, add-ons, you have molecules, etc. You need the position. So what's the position? Sometimes it also requires the initial speed. Also initial. Uh, I know uh, other sense, uh, force, for example. So you need all this. This uh, saved in the config file, and also the the field. This is called a force field. So it will include the force field. How the interaction between. I give you a lot of, for example, you have a lot of atoms in the config file. How you calculate the energies of the system? This tell you how to calculate the energy. Right, the energy form. So it will include the, the geometry, topology, and uh, the, the bonds, etc., and the force field. So this is the main input files. It is required almost for every simula simulation. Right. So go next. Uh, talk a little bit about control. How the control file look like? Right. Uh, you will. Easily see these things. You will use finish how the block this free style. So you more or less you write whatever you like. Then after certain point, you can comment. You use shop. You use shop to give a uh, comment here. Comment. So this comment is just for yourself, for for a human being. It's not for machine, right? So you tell the machine, the program, how many steps you are running, what what the uh, equilibration. So first, uh, 20, uh, 2050 steps will not count for the data analysis because you just do the uh, equilibrium. Then print how many, how frequently the data being print out, right? uh, and the other values. You will 
learn them eventually. Right. So this control, uh, I need to emphasize the use. So you will see the use finish block. Right. As I told you, the Python, all the language, they have the block, they have a par paragraph, how you tell the starting and the end. Like a parenthesis, use, finish. If, if, else, end. Something all the same, right? It's block. Uh, so, the other things, you may eventually know that. Config file contains the uh, specification for simulation cell. Uh, configuration including cell geometry, dimensions, position of all, all atoms uh, is uh, important. And this example for uh, magnesium oxide and the water. You will see we have the molecule here. Uh, we have two two molecules. Uh, two. You will see here uh, magnesium oxygen, etc. I will not go into detail. I will, we will see it from the uh, tutorials one. Uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, one per nine. All right, one comment per line, and it's free format. It's a fixed order of the records, and it's also restricted to the first first charts. All right, first charts, no matter what it is. After uh, 80, first uh, 80 charts, it did not read, right? This typical uh, Fortran's early Fortran's format. They only read the first uh, 80 charts, 80 character characters. Uh, there's something uh, uh, you need to pay attention, but uh, we can ignore this currently. Uh, please, Pay attention to it. You need to read it later. I just give you the uh, a whole picture, so you will do more details later by yourself. Uh, the configure the configure file. It, you will see uh, uh, the at the very beginning is it, it gives the two integers. Give the two integers. How about it? From the very beginning, actually. The first is title the two integers. One uh, tell you what the format of the configuration. Uh, if it's zero, then it's for uh, the first one. If it's zero, then it's for position. If it's one, it's have position plus plus the velocity. If they have two, it's position, velocity, and the forces. So tell you how the configuration file contains, what information it contains. Second integer is going to be zero or one. If it's zero, then it's a fractional. If it's, it's, it's one, then it's Cartesian. Uh, fractional means all the numbers are between points, uh, minus 0.5, plus 0.5, right? Uh, cell vector, you know, you, got, you, you know, vectors in the, Physics 101, all right. So that's something, uh, yeah, just level of the configuration file, you know, what the information is uh, included. And uh, the other things, yeah. Just too much details, I will not go to, go to that. Uh, and they'll tell you the, the configure file format the other two files have the similar format, almost the same actually. One called the RevCon. RevCon is called uh, if okay configuration file. Once you generate, it's the initial position. It will not change anymore. It's be there all the time. Right? But what if the uh, you do the relaxation? Your structure changes with time, right? It changes. How we record the new position? We use a file called the RU, uh, rev, called a revolutional, right? Revolutional uh, config, config. It called RUV.com. Uh, right? This file contains the new position. So once you want to do restarting, 
right? Redo, redo the simulation based on the new configuration. Then you should copy this to the config and uh, do the simulation. Another is archive. Uh, this happens because sometimes we do really, really long, long simulation. For example, currently I do 10,000 steps, but maybe next time I need uh, 1 million. Then maybe another time I need 2 million steps. So we can always do, if I already finished 1 million, then I start from there to go another 1 million. So we can restart. Right. Not uh, from the beginning, but from what we stopped. Uh, this is very important. Have the same format, but a different name. Okay, the, uh, there are two ex exceptionals. One is the uh, Gibbs uh, in Zambo. It needs uh, uh, it needs two config files. Right. Another is a face change. No, uh, another is a face switch in the, uh, comments. Right. For a Gibbs example, you will see you need a box one and a box two. Have the similar uh, format, but have different uh, different position because they are in different uh, um, different face. Uh, similar here. For here, you will find a configure point one and a configure point two. You have two uh, two face face switch. That's the method uh, means. Then the third one is a field file. The field file will tell you the fourth field, right? how the energy are calculated. I will talk more about that later. So you will have uh, this example. Uh, first line is the title, was the cutoff, was the units, uh, was the number of configurations, it's one or two, was the atom types, was the atom's name, What's the the um, this the type? What's the mass? What's the charge? Uh, what's the molecule type? Right, not only atoms, also have molecules, etc. Then the finish, you know, this uh, this one, this block finished. Others. Um, this for another example. Uh, you can uh, go that by yourself. Uh, I will paste this. Uh, this uh, slides on the uh, blackboard, so you can do that carefully by yourself later. Uh, but all these are copied from the menu, so it's better you can always check the menu. Uh, I copied here for your convenience. Here you will see if we want to specify the units, this is important, uh, what's the units of your energy? So the units could be internal, internal ones. That means the units is in 10 joule per mole, right? So these internal units. It also could be kilo uh, cal calories per mole, per mole. It could be kilojoules. It could be electron volts. It could, could be Kelvin. So different uh, style different units, uh, number of configs, etc. Also, the atom type, uh, I will ignore this part. Let's go to the output. Right? We have three inputs, but for the output, uh, we may have up to 16, but most important, uh, the output is one, output. This is more or less like a log file. Most uh, important information are recorded in the output. Anytime you are around the simulation, please check the output. Then your another is a uh, history file, uh, archive, trajectory, etc. This shows how the uh, how the uh, system. Uh, evolution, how the system changes. Uh, Revcon, this is the last, this is the latest, right? The last snapshot of the position of the system. You have the same uh, format as config, but it contains the updated and the latest. Uh, 
and the latest information about the position. Here ha also have the restore and the revive. This is just for restore your simulation. Also, we have RDF data. RDF is a radio distribution function. It's related to the structure of your system. This is very important. Uh, we will come back to, to this later. Uh, density distribution along Z, right? But all this, if you're, these files are optional. If you uh, ask the system, for example, you specify the particular word, like a sample RDF, then it's print out, otherwise it will not exist. For this also, if you ask the system, sample Z then, then your this file will generate it, otherwise it's not show. Another is energy. Right, it's simple energy. Then you have this output. Otherwise, you do not. Uh, the other things, right? MPD data, especially your sample volume. Then you have the uh, MPD data itself. Uh, FED data. You know, also, your you have the FED mapper. Then you have they have the, these outputs and the others. Yeah. So the most uh, at the very beginning, you will not have this part. Because you do not specify um, these derivatives. Let's focus on output. The output have six sessions. The first session is simulation head header. So you will find what's the title, what's the version, etc. I will give you the example later. The next is a force field specification. So the force field you input, it will be uh, repeated here. Just let you know what the force field uh, it is. And the summary of the initial configuration. So initial configuration will be summarized. Then the control specification. What's the control? What's the comments you have in the control file? Then what's the process, uh, progress reports? So at each step, it will be recorded. So you know the whole progress. And the last is the summary of the statistic data. So this is also important. It will print out what's the summary. Of the statistics, so we have six sessions. Eventually, this uh, this uh, core file you need to read, and the many informations are extracted from this file. Then the trajectory file, we will uh, see this. We will use trajectory file to make movies. So we will from the movie we will see how the atoms, how the system gets uh, evolution go to one to other during the simulation. Also, this, uh, this uh, as I mentioned, this is also a position file. This is the last, the most, uh, most updated one. Uh, this uh, radio di distribution function, how this look like, what's the format? You will find, you will find that. And also the density file. Uh, the density data in format similar to RDF uh, have the similar uh, formats. Uh, FED data. Once you have it, you can uh, plot. And also other. Right? I will not go to the detail because it will be too much for you. Also, there are another. Uh, I think some of you know uh, HTML, right? This one is another uh, YAML, so another format. And the data uh, rows uh, get in this format. So sometimes uh, people familiar with this format, they, they, can, they can extract the data from here. Uh, then another file, uh, orange file. Uh, you only involve it, uh, call it, then it has a has the output. Otherwise, it will not be there. Okay, I will spend a little bit more time emphasize on the fourth field. Fourth field, uh, they tell you how you calculate the energy. The fourth fourth field is uh, deal with two things. You know the positions of each atom. You also know some atoms for molecules. If there are four molecules, then they have chemical bonds. For the chemical bonds, you need to first calculation about the interaction between the atoms inside this molecule. 
Then you need to calculate the energy uh, between uh, the molecules, all these things. So sometimes they call it uh, intro or inter. Intro means inside, inside the molecule. Inter means, uh, you know, um, outside, right? So for the force field, uh, for the in, uh, internal, I mean inside the one molecule. So you first you need to find the nearest labor. That is the bond. It have a chemical bond with the nearest labor. Uh, this bond, this two body, because it's related to two atoms, I and J, right? So you know the distance, just straightforward, I and J. This two body potential, could a bond potential, right? Uh, in the in the Dial Monte, you will find uh, eight formats how the energy are calculated. Formats, right? Sorry, not four, it's eight. There's eight formats, uh, eight forms. Uh, harmonic, uh, Nina de Jones, etc. Okay, for <coughs> another one is three body, cut it. Say I, J, K, three body. Once they are three body, they will form one angle. So sometimes it's called a bending potential or three body potential, it's bending potential. So how the, how the, uh, how the angle being calculated? This is how it's calculated. J, I, K. This is just uh, geometry, all right? Uh, Follow the uh, follow this uh, formula. You can calculate the uh, the angle. Then what's the energy from this bending potential, three body potential? If we find once we know the angle, then we can calculate their uh, their potential. This harmonic is this uh, other term. You know, you'll see we have ten ten kinds. Uh, ten kinds. How to calculate the three body. Potential. Yeah, please. Uh, maybe a quick question. So uh, yeah. are these formulas applied to any phase of material, solid, gas, liquid, or they're only for no. gas molecules? No, this one is just for the molecule. For the molecule. Right? For example, you, you consider water. Then you have two hydrogens, one atom, uh, one uh, oxygen, right? you have the angle. So this is just for yes. within one molecule, within one molecule. Within one molecule, okay. Yeah, one molecule. So this is uh, three body potential. Sometimes, uh, okay, we will, what are your concern? I will talk about later, right? This is for the molecule. Then this is four body potential. So more or less you will see this, if there are four body, then they form a dihedral angle potential, the hydro angle. This angle, how it, this is how the angle being calculated. This is very routine, right? You need to worry about. But you know this uh, dihedral angle. I, J, K, L. I, J, K, N. Here is N. So I, J, K, N. So there are how many? There are seven types in the, uh, in the Diamonte. It already, um, already provided and uh, the formats, the formula is here. You can, uh, you can, how say, you can decide with this, uh, these uh, derivatives. They right? have the uh, keywords. So this four body, but for, we have more, right? We have improper dihedral. We have improper dihedral. More or less, it's, the, it's the, uh, similar, you will see, uh, same atoms, but the topology is different. Topology is different. It's not in the right dihedral angle. It's improper, but they are the same uh, kinds of atoms. For example, alpha, beta is the same, but in the middle, N and C being switched, right? We still think they all have the same topology. So that's, that's something. And there are another called inversion angle. This is something uh, for, for keep the 
uh, the uh, strategy. If you are study the um, the uh, polymers, you will learn more about this right? because the different uh, strategies. Uh, you, you guys, you, you guys may learn the protein, right? All the human beings, all the human beings' uh, protein have kind of strategy, right? If you have the opposite, this protein is useless to human being, right? You're, to your body. So that's other things you guys remember uh, later. Uh, previously, we talked about force field inside, inside one molecule. What if uh, to the other molecules, there's some long bonded sites, long bonded. So there's no chemical bonds anymore. So how do you, how do you get the uh, the forces? More or less, think about the Van der Waals, Van der Waals potential, right? It's long bonded. So we have how many? We have quite a few uh, types. Also, we have long bonded sites uh, have three body potential. Right? They, are, they are not bonded. For sure, first, they are not bonded, but they have three body. They have the, they have the uh, angle dependent. So we do have this part. Also, um, here something uh, become more important is uh, Monte Carlo moves for mimic the particle dynamics. How the Monte Carlo mimic the particle dynamics? It have seven types. For example, the atom or molecule translation, translation, or rotate, or insert, delete. Right? For the molecule, for molecular dynamic simulations, it's really hard to do the insert, delete. It's always impossible. But for Monte Carlo, it's easy to do that. Uh, identity, uh, the mutation of atoms and uh, molecules, uh, pairwise swamp, the swamp is very important. Uh, this also mimic the uh, particle dynamics. It's, uh, for example, if you swamp in Monte Carlo, it's just immediately. But for a molecular dynamic system, it may take maybe years. Yes, it's a long time. Sometimes it's not really uh, easy to do that. That's the advantage to use Monte Carlo. Right? And the volume moves, attempts of various dimensions, etc. There are many things. So I will also introduce a little bit about periodic boundary conditions. We do simulation. We have the cell. Uh, we need a periodic boundary condition. Why? Because these cells are very small. And the small cells, they have a large surface to volume ratio. That's the physics. That's a lot. You guys may, may know this later, right? I just tell you, we need to apply periodic boundary condition. But sometimes you need to two, uh, two directions, you have periodic boundary condition, but the third one, like Z direction, you're, you do not have. You use empty space. Right, it's something you need to keep that in mind. So we can control uh, the periodicity. It's uh, three dimensional or two dimensional, right? Okay, examples. This, uh, this is the main part of the Monte Carlo. So how you get the examples? Uh, canonical, uh, long, uh, micro canonical, we will not consider there here. We use MPT, uh, grand canon uh, uh, canonical, you can see, and the others. We have even um, uh, gifts in them, etc. Yeah, we will learn in the lecture. Uh, Professor Slidey will tell you more about that. So we get a little bit of focus on tutorial one. For the tutorial one, we will do the MVT, Nina and John's fluid. And we T is canonical example, Nina Jones fluid. So we do the Monte Carlo simulation. We use the uh, algorithm, the uh, Metropolis algorithm. How this algorithm works, right? There are three steps. 
uh, first step, you just select a particle in random, right? You have the randomly select one particle. You calculate its energy, right? R1. Then you have a random number. You displace this selected particle, do a random work. Not, a, not really random work. It's displayed it in a new position. It's a trial. It's, it's a trial. We just try it, right? It's a new position and calculate the new energy. Right? So we have the energy difference, delta U. Then we calculate this value, uh, epsilon. Uh, we will calculate this one, E, uh, exponential minus beta, beta is KT, right? Uh, one over KT. You calculate this value. You calculate this value. If this value, you already have the random number, right? You have the random number. Random number is from zero to one. You, and now you have two things. You have one number and you have another number. Right? You have the uh, another number from energy. So you compare these two numbers. Right? So if this, if this inside zero and one, if this one, exponential one, and uh, then you take uh, accept, right? If it's larger than one, uh, I mean, if it is larger than one, that means that U is smaller than zero. And you can, you can take this part to acceptance. This related to the accept, uh, acceptance rate, Right. So if it is accepted, that means this trial we can move. Otherwise, we do not move. Right. This uh, this one step. Right. We do the repeat for for many times in our calculation. We do one hundred thousand times. So in the tutorial, we we have three input files. We just mentioned uh, the field, the fourth field. How do you how we calculate the energy? Configure file was the initial configuration and the control. How do the procedure? How we do ask the uh, program to do the simulation, the simulation parameters. So uh, with this, we do the calculations. Uh, for the for the rest, let's follow me. Uh, open your uh, open your Ubuntu. All right, open your Ubuntu. Sorry. I will open your Ubuntu. <clears throat> and you guys know how to do, how to split your windows, right? Split your windows, your screen, so you can see my, uh, my video and also you can do practice uh, on the other side. So let's do it in this way, for example. Let's do it in this way. Uh, say, all right. So you can see my typing, and you can type in side by side. Right? So for example, uh, first find well your well is your um, your tutorials files. Right. For me, uh, from the very beginning, I will do it by my own because your will be, in your side will be different. Uh, for example, I have not mounted it yet. I need to mount my uh, T drive. So I will go to program. I will go to DL Monty. I will go to DL Mount. Uh, tutorials file. Let's see. I have the exercise. You have, you have two directories, right? One is exercise, one is script, right? And then what I see 
you will see you have uh, nine tutorials. Okay, so we go to tutorial one. Go to tutorial one. That's what we are doing. So you will see <coughs> you will have three uh, three files. Right? Um, let's do an easy one. Right? Do an easy one. Uh, say. Uh, copy. Right? Yeah, we are copy. Oh, wait one second. Let, let, let us have a look at the uh, files first. So, for example, let's look at the um, look look at the config one by one. Right, config file. If you use the vi, you can look it. So it's exercise lj fluid mg ensemble. We have two, you know, the first zero, that means we only have the position, there's no force, there's no velocity. Another is zero, that means it's use what? It's use the fractional coordinates, right? Then the follows, they have three vectors. This A, B, and C. You will see it's a cubic. Each side is 11.7 with transforms and the molecules, etc. So this is something for the positions, you know. And also you have the control. So all the, the control gives you the comments. What you, so what's the comments, what's the seed you settle. I, I just let you know how this looks like and where it is. Please go through it by yourself. Right? We will come back later again. The another is, uh, is um, field. How you calculate your energy. Right? So the first to tell you the units, uh, the cutoff, all right, the first, first, first line is the title. The uh, second one, the cutoff, 2.5, 2.5, because the sigma is one angstrom, so the cutoff is 2.5 angstrom. The units is internal. Internal means 10 um, joule per, per mole. Right. And uh, the others, and the others. I'm not going to go into too much details, so you know what it is. And uh, in general, you can do this. You can do copy, uh, for, for, sorry. So first you need to make a directory. Make a directory, M-K-D-I-R, make a directory. Uh, X EX1, for example, I do EX1, right? So you can, you already made it. For example, I do LS, then you will see previously just no, but now it exists, so EX1. So what I'm doing, I CD to EX1, I CD to EX1, right? I, now it's empty. Nothing there. Right. I can copy. I can copy the, the other file. For example, uh, let me copy exactly this one. I exactly copy the uh, files, for example, right? Uh, to config, config, for example, config. I can configure here, right? And also copy control. Right. And I also copy field. Three files is necessary. So I need to compile, copy three files. Right. Are you follow me? Right. We have three files. Now let's look at what what is. You will see we have three files. Right. Then let's see uh, once you install the DL Monty. Here we have the bin. Right? Last time I showed you. So you will have the bin file, just executables. So I will what I do, I do this. Let's do the simple one. All right. Let's say we use bin and we just use uh, use um, serial. We use the serial one. Yeah. There is no changes in the screen. No change of screen, right? 
How 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 do you say that? Uh, it's uh, in hold, like uh, nothing moves. <clears throat> uh, I mean, just in your side or my side? I mean, do you see? Uh, you cannot change or? No, no, no. We don't see the changes that you are doing. The last thing uh, th that you have done is uh, uh, NVT dry zero slash C. <clears throat> And after that, we haven't seen anything. Huh, so that means my uh, it's not it's not updating. You just see uh, just get my voice, but there's uh, my screen do not change, right? Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's let me uh, close or close others. Wait one second. Wait one second. Okay. Uh, I tried to close almost everything uh, to save a little bit. How about now? Can you see my screen? No, we can see it. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you see my screen is will be ex1, right? Under the directory uh, folder, ex1, right? Yes, uh, Dr. Bink, I, I have an issue I, um, having the, the tutorial files. I, I didn't have them. I have the bin and uh, uh, the could list you, you have you now. Please show, show me your, uh, your desktop, your, your screen. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes. And now your now your screen has changed, but uh, it's it's like a screenshot. It's not like a screen. <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully that's because the some uh, related to the speed. Let's see. Yeah. Can you see yeah, my screen? Please share your screen. Let's see. So. Uh, maybe I need. It. Yeah. So I go to prog, and then I have DL Monty, and then I go inside. And then I have the DL Monty release. Yeah. And then I go there, and then I have this list. I download the tutorials, but I don't see them here. Uh, it's not this. This is a program. It is not a tutorials. You have another file, right? This is your program. It's not a tutorial. Tutorial file. All right. Also, I saw your problem. Uh, okay. I saw your problem. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, please stop sharing. You will okay. see your file is different. You have different name. If it is a tutorial, you will have a tutorial files. All right. So let's go back a little bit. Uh, maybe the fourth. You will see your only download release one. This release, this is the file you have. You yeah, unzip, but you also uh, can you share your screen, Doctor Bank? You also need another one, right? Yeah, I, I downloaded the DL Monty tutorials files master. Yes, yes. Then you you unzip it. You you un, you put it into you unzip it. Now, uh, yes. Okay. I, if you could you please. Share your screen again. I may need to require control. I can do that okay. for you and for a demo for all the others. Yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen? Ah, uh, not yet. What about now? Ah. Uh, Everyone sees. I did not see your screen. Wait one minute. Okay, I see it. Yeah, I see it now. Okay, maybe I require uh request control. Is allowed. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me test your speed. Is okay. Okay, good. Great. Your speed is okay. Uh, we need to go up, right? So your Diamonti 
So you also download the release. You download the release, but you have not downloaded the, the tutorials. Where's where's the tutorials? Um, I have I have it in my local drive, but I don't know how to bring it there. Uh, so this one, mm, for example, uh, let's go. Can you tell me? You know, can you split your screen so I know the the Windows directory? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, split. I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. Half Ubuntu, half Windows. Yeah, I think I'm only sharing the program, so it's not going to do it. So let me share my desktop full. Just yep. a second. Yeah. OK. Share screen to OK. Right. And then yeah. give control. I gave you the control. And then yeah. let me. Where's your where's your uh, tutorial? Yes, good, good. Okay. That's the right way we do that. So your tutorials is uh, which directory? I mean, this long way. So let's say you have. Uh, it's in, in my PC. It's in your PC. Desktop. So okay. If you desktop. That okay. Let's let's go to the desktop. How we do that? So we knew. The amount point, right? And the C and the user, right? The user. So what's your name there? Uh which one? So H A, right? Yeah. So what else? So you're in desktop. So where where is it? Do you, do you, can you tell me? Desktop, yeah. Uh desktop. Are in the my is there's desktop now? All right, they, they do have desktop. Okay, wait one second. Then, so you have KVPM, right? Yes. And, and which then one? Classes. Oh my, <laughs> how many? Okay, classes. Uh, uh, so cl uh, it's, it's uh, uppercase. Yeah. One second. Classes. Then what else? Okay, so that's the one. So which and the one? Physics. 5K1, I know it's a long way, but. Okay. And uh, physics one, right? Okay. okay. Suppose I, we have been here. I will make your life easier. You do this PWLD, right? Mm. So you, you do what? You do the whole things. You do the whole things, right? Uh, right click, then it's copied. We do the we do the uh, CD to the home directory. I just want to make a make a link for you. Okay. So next time you just do quickly. Okay. So uh, link ls. Then you right click. Uh, so actually. It will autom automatically shows, right? And uh, physics, right? So okay. let's make a link. Uh, P five three one. All right, as simple as easy. Okay. So next time you go just directly. You do not need to go that far, right? You, you have everything here. Okay. Right? Then you can go uh, to the uh, DL Monty. DL Monty, right? Uh, let me see. D D L Monty. Everyone, please follow me. I don't want to do that again. All right, you know this is torture me, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, DL Monty. Then we go another. Uh, what's that? The software, right? So, so. Yeah, software package. Uh, software. So we also have um, capital, right? So you know what I'm doing? I type S and the type tab, tab tab. Yeah, tab. tab it, yeah, it, it writes and it for automatically us. Automatically complete, right? So I have that package. Let's see what is the package we have. So actually, you do have the uh, have the 
tutorials. Great, great. So your VCD to the tutorials. Let's see. Right. And uh, you will have two two directories. Is now can I copy this to broke? Wait, wait one second. Wait one. This tutorials you will have two. Why you have so many? Okay, there's something wrong. Uh, you're wrong the twice. Okay, yeah, I, I know you have done. Yeah, twice. Oh my. Okay, let's do you will have another. Okay, DL yeah, poly. All right. What's that? All right, finally, we have two directories exercise and a script. Everyone, please go with me. We finally find it, right? Then <clears throat> you go to the to the uh, exercise. Sorry, we go to the exercise, right? We do it quickly, right? We do uh, not there are uh, nine tutorials, so we go to CD tutorial one, tutorial one, and go to tutorial one. So what I'm doing, we make Right, we make directory called ex1 or test one or whatever you like. We make a directory, right? Then we copy the files there. We there go into first, and I copy three input files. For example, from from what m from mvt sorry mv to drive zero, for example. And we do, we need to compute con three files. Config, right, copy the one. Uh, build two. And then we need the what? We need the, um, control. we need the control, right? The third one. All right, everything ready. We need, the, we can do the simulation. But uh, please check what's your in your bin. Once you do the simulation, no, install your DL poly well, you will have something in the bin. So we know everything in the bin. So we just do the simple one. We use the serials, right? So serial. And uh, and do what? <clears throat> and do nothing. Just enter. It will tell you what's, what's it, let's say output. It will show. So everything finished in what? In 0.5 seconds. 0.5 seconds, it's already finished, everything. So you guys already have everything ready, right? Oh my, we use all the time. Uh, Okay, please in your in your side, right? In your uh, Windows, uh, let's yes. go here in the master, in the in the master again, right? In the exercise tutorial one, tutorial one, the new one, and uh, let's see. Uh, open this file with what? With your Ovito. That's your Ovito. Uh, open with Ovito, open with uh, more applicates with Ovito, Ovito. Uh, look another, uh, Ovito. You will find uh, the program, go to O, where's your o, Ovito? O? Yes. Yeah, uh, you have not installed it yet, oh my. Wait, is, is, let, let's check again. Oh, we have, oh no, I have I, I installed it. You have it, you have not installed. Let's go there directly. All right. Okay. All right. Do everything from the beginning. <laughs> this is a tough cost. Anyway, okay, let's shoot the study, okay, right? Next, next. Yeah, install. Please install, install, install. Have everything ready. Please tell me you're ready. Yes, it's 80% now. Yeah, yeah. Finish. Okay. It's as simple it's as ready. that. It's ready, right? Yes, here it is. Okay. There. You can see it. Ovito. Then, then uh, open with Ovito. Let's 
Okay, open with Ovito Basic. Once you installed, you will have this. Can we see this one? Ovito. Yeah. So, have a full, please have, yeah, have a bigger screen. Everyone, <laughs> it's, it's a magic, right? So, you're, you're, what are you doing? You do play, you do play, all right? You do play. You do this play one, you will see the movie. <laughs> Why is it stopped here? Yeah. So, you're in your side, you will see the uh, smooth movie, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it goes from one to eight, one to eight. Because we do the demo, it's only calculate the eight outputs. But uh, in the previous one, you can calculate the solids, all right? You can create solids. All right. So I just use your use yours as a demo, all right? Uh, everyone, please follow me. Uh, let's open what? Spider. Let's open spider. Spider. You have the spider. All right, good. You have the spider. Now we do the data analysis, right? Uh, in the meantime, we have another. We have another thing you to do. We have another thing you to do. Yes. Uh, yes. What? Here. Yeah. You have the spider. Okay. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, wait one second, uh, because uh, we have one more thing to do. Pre please go to previous uh, Ubuntu uh, window. Ubuntu window. Ubuntu. Yeah, Ubuntu window. Yeah, here, we need to do the data analysis. So we need uh, the script. So what's, so, uh, you yeah, will see the script. Uh, wait one second, one, how many layers? One, two, Three, I think it's three. It will you will go script, right? You will find that there are many scripts there. That's for your data analysis. What they're doing? We do script and uh, script and uh, do do uh, uh, do uh, do yarn. Wait one second. Script. Uh, it's hard to tell, but uh, it's got a script, yarn, all right, here, uh, script. Uh, why? Did not show up. S T R. Much. Yeah, strip. Strip, yeah. Strip, Y A, you know, strip. So we call it energy. We call it energy. Okay. E R G Y. We call it strip energy. So it will generate one new file called energy dot data. Right? Energy dot data. Right. Then we do plotting of this data. But this data is quite a small. But anyway, we can do that. Now we go to the uh, we go to coding right now immediately. Right? Uh, okay, please follow me. Right? Import. Okay. Import what? Import uh, PLL PY plot. P yes. S PL. Okay. Okay, PL dot node text. Wow, that's very convenient. I do not need to remember. But anyway, I already have that node text. Right? Uh, text enter. Sorry, we have we have this. We have E N E R G Y. Energy dot D A T. We have another then we have parentheses, right? We have the parentheses, great. Now, okay, we already know the file. Now, pl plot, plot what? 
A we need to plot, but uh, we we know that the file well we put. We need to sign a name for this. Uh, please say here m equals. Ah, oh, sorry. Well, that's everything. Okay. Uh, say m m equal. So we load it. We put it as a uh, into a, in, into a variable. So we plot. We plot M. Uh, we first column as X, second column as Y. As simple as that. Uh, we finish the coding now, but we need to put the two files in the same directory. Let's do that. We need to save. Need to save. Yeah, please help me to save yes. to the same directory. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Yeah. Here, go to the directory. Why is it uh, huge? <laughs> okay, the Monty software packages, this one, master, exercise, tutorial one. Yeah. Exercise one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, file name, file name, you say qplot, for example, qplot.py. Wait one second. qplot.py. All right, that's simple. Is there? Okay. Yes, okay. Safe. If everything's there, then you just do simple as this. You just run it. Then you should have the plot. Where's your? You get it? That's the data you have. <laughs> as simple as this, right? Yeah, this it seems simple, data. but it needs practice. <laughs> you will see, you guys, you should learn this, all right? It's simple, do not copy, all right? Just by your own, you can do this. So let's go back again, almost the end of the, uh, out of time. But what I do, we already find the tutorial edits, we have the input file, we have the uh, uh, executables, then we just do copy it here, run the simulation, it's just, you know, 0.5 seconds. Then you have all the data. Have the, all the data, you, you need to do, do the data analysis. How? You first need to see the movie, right? You're, you already see the movie. Uh, and then you plot the data. This the energy versus the step. The x uh, horizontal is uh, is the uh, the uh, um, Monte Carlo steps. Y the y axis is the energy. So you will see how this got involved. Please get practice, all right? To know how to run the program, how to do the data analysis. These simple ones. Even go to the uh, Python programming. You will see it's as easy as this. You do not need MATLAB. You have MATLAB, you have a lot of, uh, I mean, things, but here you will do that symbol. Uh, later, please try your best to add, how to add, how to add the label. Uh, for example, X label, X, A, X, L, A, B, E, L. Yeah, X label. For example, uh, say M, C, step okay so just as simple as that let's save it again and uh right so you'll see what mc steps right then you do y you do other i leave this to you right so you know how to run the program how to do the data analysis uh from the python and also the movie right this is also important you can see it in your desktop, but please check the, the tutorial. You will find a way to how to make a movie, right? So this project, project, all right.
almost out of the time, but please practice. I will give you the, the project next time, right? You will do that by your own. Please uh, follow the tutorials, right? All right, uh, I think uh, you have another class immediately. Uh, now I will not hold you guys. Please, you're safe to leave. I will have this uh, one put on the, our, you will come back for the movie. Right. I, this recording will keep going because the other students have difficulties. I can record it, then you can uh, watch it later. All right. Uh, all you guys, you are safe to leave all right? because uh, you have class immediately. You have next class, I know. Yeah, you are safe to leave. Yeah, questions okay. so far. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, in my case, do I need to change the uh, where my uh, DL Monty exercise file, or I just use the same directory that I have now? You can use the same. All right, just feel a little bit comfortable. Yeah. So you're once you got familiar, you know how to change. Then later you you do. So always play around. Do not know. You know, okay. see. Always play around. So you get uh, if this works, if it doesn't work, then uh, you discuss with your with your teammates. With uh, we, you know, we have a bigger class. We have twenty four people. Yes. So you should we share your experience. You have to teach others. You know, learn from each other. Yeah. This will be a you know very short, uh, but everything do similar. It's more a little bit more complex, but everything is similar. All right. Okay, thank you, Dr. Pink. I'll, I'll stop sharing my screen. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> thank you very much. Right. Hope you learn. Yeah. Yeah, save to leave. Yeah, I know you guys will be ready for 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 next class. Yeah. Yeah, for others. Yeah, Good yeah. Time. Yeah, question, please. Yes, uh, I'm still having the issues. Uh, that I cannot download the uh, uh, download the program. Yeah. Uh, how, why? You, uh, which program? Can you please show show, you, show me your desktop? I can help you right now. I can control you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is my desktop. Yeah. Please uh, yeah, desktop and please uh, let me control. Yeah. Uh, how can I give you a control? Wait one second. Install this may take a few minutes. All right, this again, right? So yes, uh, I, I just uh, pre-open it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, quite a few students have this before, but eventually they solved the issue. Please ask such questions in the in the uh, in our uh, discussions, like a Telegram or or WhatsApp. But whatever, I can help you so far. Um, please go. Which tell, which tell, step? Uh, this page. Uh, I uh, didn't tell this page. Yeah. Please. Uh, uh, let me let me gain control. Request control. You can please say allow. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, let me see yours. Uh, <laughs> your. Wait one second. Sorry. Uh how is here? Oh, this yeah. is Cortana, okay. Yeah, yeah, where's your power shell? I'm, I'm trying to open your power shell. Uh, okay, I'll open it to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, please open your power shell. Okay. Yeah, power shell, your search and uh, power shell. Okay, this is power shell. Yeah, it's kind of slow from my side. Uh, administrator, great, great. Please copy and paste uh, that comment, right? Which one? Uh, I did uh, tell this one. Yeah. Um, uh, as, and uh, it need to be the earlier. It need to be earlier. in uh, enable enable the uh, the virtual enable the virtual one. Go up. Um. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. This you one. Should, yeah, yeah. You should enable enable the virtual machine. There's a command. Yes. Yeah. 
Exactly, exactly. <laughs> This is my third time that I download uh, the Enable Virtual Machine platform. Oh, you have, you have done it before, right? Okay. Yes, and I restarted it twice. Okay, wait one second. Wait one second. Uh, wait one second. So, it's say uh, Enable. Wait one second. Uh, I can show you something while it's... Yeah, wait one second. Okay, for the other students, you are safe to leave. Yeah, I know you you guys have other uh, classes. Wait one second. Yeah, please. Yeah, you have... Uh, okay, it's online, true. Yes, so you already do this successfully. Yes. Uh, then you enable substance in uh, Linux. I, think, I suppose you already do that. Yes, uh, I want to uh, download it. Did it open? Yeah, I downloaded it uh, uh, three times the WSL, so I can uh, so I can convert from uh, WSL one to version two. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. And, yeah. Uh, Update. You already done that. All right. So you yes. already. Uh, on that, then what else? Uh, what else? Then let's go go down a little bit. So wait one second here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me right, get control. Yeah. Now go to your PowerShell, please. Okay. Go to your PowerShell. And uh, let me type it. Type all right. W S L minus L. Uh, I want to check that. My does not show. Wait, wait. Can you type? W or you not? Yeah, please type W S L minus L minus B. W S L minus L. Minus L, a blank space, minus V, yeah. Minus V, like this? Uh, yeah, enter, yeah. Your subsystem has no installed distribution. So yes, I tried to, to install what he wants, but I'm installing everything that I got, but it doesn't work. Oh, but, uh, because so, I think this problem. So, this how you how do you store the Ubuntu? Okay, I'm not wait a second. Any distribution? I think because Ubuntu doesn't work, but I don't know why Ubuntu doesn't work. So actually, you go to the store, right? Try to install Ubuntu, but you did not. Yes, uh, I got two versions, and I tried to. Uh, launch the two of them, but no one, no one of them. Ah, I see. And what's the reason? It's, it's, it's kind of weird. It's very weird. Uh, let me see your assistance. All right, go to, go to a setting. Uh, go to, go to your Windows key. Right. Okay. right go, yeah. Go to, uh, go to system. Yeah. Right click. Right click. Go to system. Right click. No. Okay. Right click. Go to system. System. Okay. I'd like to see your hardware. Yeah, one second. Yeah, uh, you have uh, i7, it's okay. You have 8 gig of memory, it's, it's pretty good. I don't know that there's no reason it doesn't work. Yeah, I think uh, maybe find another time. I will go, come back to you. I know you have another class. I won't, don't want to hold you. All right. Okay. Um, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe uh, once you get free, or uh, let's say, how about uh, how about nine o'clock? All right. Let's try to do that. Maybe not okay. today. Uh, today I have other. Maybe tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow nine o'clock. Right. Nine o'clock a.m. or p.m. 
Uh, I'm three and four. Kian. Kian. Yeah, only a half of time. All right. All right. Thank you, Dixar. All right. Yeah. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yeah, please save to leave. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, all the class, please save to the leave. You have another class running. Yeah.